A recent study has shown that the regular use of over-the-counter mouthwash was associated with increased risk of high blood pressure, independent of major risk factors for hypertension, like smoking, for example. So what is the mechanism and what does this mean to you if you are a regular user of mouthwash? We know that mouthwash is used by a large part of the population, and recent studies have even shown that mouthwash can help to reduce the viral load of SARS-CoV-2 virus in the mouth. It is important to know that these studies only looked at the use of mouthwash during the time of infection, and there is no evidence that using mouthwash long-term has any positive health benefits, much to the contrary. The oral microbiome is very diverse and is an important part of oral health. Short-term clinical trials have shown that antibacterial mouthwash depletes oral nitrate-reducing bacteria and decreases systemic nitric oxide bioavailability. A balanced oral microbiome helps maintain good cardiovascular health by helping the conversion of dietary nitrate into nitric oxide, a signaling molecule that helps maintain normal blood pressure. Maintaining optimal oral health, however, remains crucial. There are a range of studies that have linked gum disease and the buildup of certain bacteria in the mouth with Alzheimer's disease, cardiovascular disease, and respiratory conditions. In addition, Certain medications, such as decongestants, antihistamines, painkillers, diuretics, and antidepressants, can reduce saliva flow, which can leave the mouth more susceptible to dental caries and inflammation. Essentially, the use of mouthwash should not be considered a long-term solution. Here are six ways to effectively protect your oral health. Brush your teeth at least twice a day for two minutes each time using a soft bristled brush and floss daily. Eat a healthy diet and limit sugary foods and drinks. Don't forget to replace your toothbrush every three to four months or sooner if bristles are splayed or worn. Schedule regular dental checkups and cleanings and avoid tobacco use. Be sure to contact your dentist as soon as an oral health problem arises, including if you are experiencing swollen or bleeding gums. And remember that taking care of your oral health is an investment in your overall health. I hope this has been helpful. Take care and stay healthy.